What's up, Tech Heart Rockstars? Paulie here, and I wanted to hop on today and talk about a software that I've just found. It's for some of my older hardware. Uh, I have a 2017 iMac, and it's a killer computer. I've upgraded the RAM to 24 gigabytes. I added 16. I had the 8 that was already in there, bada bing, bada boom. And um, it's a great system still in 2024. I use it for editing videos and getting work done. Uh, but anyway, I noticed that it cannot upgrade to Mac OS Sonoma. And while Ventura does everything I need, I want the flashy stuff. Let's open up a browser real quick and I'll show you guys a website, Open Core Legacy Patcher. Experience Mac OS just like before. Wait, before I'm trying to install Sonoma to go F. Anyway, you can install Sonoma on unsupported Mac hardware. It's really, really neat. Um, you have to use it to create a USB stick, put Sonoma on that USB stick, then put the patcher or open core on top of that on an EFI partition. Then you install Sonoma on unsupported hardware, baby. Apple don't want us getting here. And then after that, after your installation is complete, you can come back to the computer and install open core patcher on your hard drive. Then you can boot without any USB stick help or or anything, just like a supported Mac. And let's get rocking to put open core on unsupported hardware, baby. Techardo. I've already opened the open core legacy website. We can click on getting started. We need to grab the open core legacy patcher app first. So let's go download that. We'll look for the latest release. It's right here, 600 megabytes. So let that download. I'm going to insert a 32 gigabyte USB stick into the iMac. I believe the download is finished so we can open up Open Core Patcher. Now, you can read along in this how to over here. I know the process. Right now we're at this step. One might think that you build and install Open Core first, but that's not correct. First, we're going to create Mac OS installer. Then you can click on download Mac OS installer and select one. And for the 2017 iMac, we're going to get Sonoma. Right now it's 14.3, I think is the newest. But I'm going to select use existing Mac OS installer because I think it's already on this computer. There it is. So it's Sonoma 14.3. So I'm going to select that, install Mac OS Sonoma. I'll have to reinsert my USB drive because it was unmounted. There it is. We can search for disks again. And now there's my 31 gigabyte USB drive, so I'll select that. And it's telling us it's gonna be completely erased, which is fine. And you're gonna let this go. It could take up to 30 minutes. So I'll just let that fly through and I'll catch y'all in a minute. All right, we're getting close. So we can start to scroll down to see the next step. We're right here. So let's hope we see this next. We're burning about 19 gigabytes worth of data. Oh yeah, baby. All right, here we go. We're validating. Come on, you fart knocker, let's go. All right, so we've got our successfully created Mac installer. Would you like to continue and install Open Core to this disk? So I'll come over here to the website and I'll go to the next section, uh, building and installing open core. I'm going to say yes here. It goes through its rigmarole and then it says finishing building your open core configuration and we would like to install to disk. Now, the disk that we're going to install to is this install Mac OS Sonoma USB stick. So let's click on install to disk. It'll search and you don't want to pick your Apple partitions, but we're going to pick that USB stick, the same one that install Mac OS Sonoma is now installed to. So I'll select disk three USB. 31 gigabytes, and we're going to select this EFI partition that is 209.7 megabytes. And if you come down and look over here, you'll notice that the Open Core Legacy Patcher is finding an EFI partition of 209.7 megabytes. So we'll select that, we'll give it a password, and we'll let that build and let it do its thing, baby. Now, do we want to reboot to apply? 
So let's go over here to the website. We will click booting open core and Mac OS. So it says reboot the machine while holding the option button. When you reboot the 2017 iMac and hold the option key on your keyboard. When we can select an icon, we're gonna select the EFI boot with two little USB drives. And that is the open core legacy part. We're also going to, at that point, hold the control button while we select the EFI boot entry with the open core icon. That will make it the default boot entry for later. And then it's gonna go through the macOS Sonoma installation. And I'll catch up with you guys after that so we can look at the post installation stuff. Now I won't have screen capture because this for me is an iMac. I don't have another monitor out or capture card. So we're gonna reboot and hold the option button. Let's select reboot, restart. This is an old 2017 iMac on an Intel processor holding down the option button. We're gonna go over to the EFI boot and hold down control and select EFI boot. And now we're booted into the open core EFI part and we're now going to select install Mac OS Sonoma. Let's see what that gets us. So Mac OS Sonoma installer is loading up and we'll let that do its thing. Baby! Okay, so here's our first selections. Restore from Time Machine, install macOS Sonoma, Safari, or Disk Utility. So I'm gonna select install macOS Sonoma, the second option, and continue. We got the macOS Sonoma screen here. We couldn't have done that without Open Core Legacy. We'll continue. We get our beach ball and we'll hang on. You will need about 20 gigabytes of free space agree to the license. We're gonna install that over our original iMac. We've got about 38 minutes remaining and I'll just let it go. The screen went black and we're rebooting. We still have the EFI boot that's now iMac data. We're supposed to select the one that says Mac OS installer. So I think it's that and let's try it. There are videos and helpers on the Open Core Legacy Patcher wiki that we're following on another screen. It says, if your Mac is looping back into the beginning of the setup after the first reboot, turn it off, start again, and hold Option. This time, select the option with a gray hard disk icon. It can say Mac OS Installer or the name you gave the disk during the installer process. Keep repeating this step after every reboot if necessary. And so that's where we're at right now, and hopefully we'll get good results. You can also sip whiskey and hope for the best. Boop, boop. It now says about 29 minutes remaining, and I'm gonna catch up with y'all when it's done. Okay, we've turned off, and we have a new Apple icon, and here we are. It tells us to continue to select the Mac OS installer with the gray hard drive icon, which is this icon. So, let's go! Oh my goodness, we're off in this crazy world where we don't know what we're doing. So, it looks like we booted into Mac OS Sonoma. Okay, so since Sonoma is booting perfectly, we get this warning from OpenCore. It says the OpenCore legacy patcher has detected that you are booting OpenCore from a USB or external drive. That's because we didn't copy OpenCore to the hard drive that we just installed Sonoma on. So I'll open up Safari and I can go over here to post installation. And you can follow through on this screen if needed, but I'll just show you how to do it easily with OpenCore. I'll click OK to open up OpenCore Legacy. That's going to automatically start building a patcher or building OpenCore. And then we're going to click Install to Disk. When that opens, you'll notice that the highlighted one is where we're booting now, and that's our Disk 3 USB stick. That's a physical USB stick that we still have inserted. We need to install to our Apple hard drive. So it's Disk 0, Apple hard drive, 1 terabyte. I'll click there. Then we'll select the EFI partition. I have to give it a password, and hopefully that'll copy right over. Nice. So now we can reboot here. I'm going to close down uh, Firefox. We can reboot here, and this time we shouldn't need to have that USB stick inserted. So I'm going to remove the USB stick, click Reboot, and... 
Here we are, hopefully for the last ugly iPhone recording. I'm now gonna click the reboot. I'll make sure to hold option when I get the uh, icon. Okay, holding option. Oops, I did forget to remove the USB stick. So these two icons on the right are still the USB stick. Actually, I can just remove that right now. Apple's real spiffy, take it away. Come on, Linux, do that. Uh, now we have our hard drive where iMac is or Sonoma is, and now we have a new EFI boot with the OpenCore logo. So I'm gonna pick that EFI boot with the OpenCore logo, and I'll hold down control so that it does that in the future. Now it'll automatically select that iMac, and this should boot Sonoma. Perfect. I'm gonna give us one more reboot. So now the USB stick's removed, I'm gonna give one more restart and I'm not gonna to touch anything. Open core pops up, there's our iMac icon. And we're in baby, success. All right guys, well this is Open Core and Mac OS Sonoma version 14.3 running on this hardware. Isn't that grand? This is on a 2017 iMac. It has 24 gigabytes of memory, but I have not upgraded the Fusion Drive inside, nor have I went from the i5 to an i7-7700. Both upgrades that are on the horizon. So far, it seems to handle it pretty okay. Where does that leave this video? Well, it shows you how to do the same on a 2017 iMac, all the way down to, I think, well, I know 2013s, 2012s, 2011s, eh, and even the 2010s. Over on the OpenCore website, you can find out much more information about OpenCore and what hardware it supports. Come back next week after I've used Sonoma on this hardware for me to let you know how it's going. Does it perform as well as it did on Ventura? Are the new options and features of Sonoma useful? Awesome even? Come on back next time and we'll find out together. But for now, rock and roll!